I'm gonna open the box. I'm gonna open the box. I'm gonna open the box, 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 box. Uh, it's not very heavy. It's pretty light. Oh my goodness. What's this? I'm not sure what this is. Let's take a look. Oh, it looks like the charger. Ooh. The charger. I'm gonna need to charge up the arm. Holy crap! There's a <laughs> there's an arm in here. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy. Oh my gosh. Whoops. So this is gorgeous. Like, holy crap. It feels Oh, this, <laughs> that's not a good sign for how I'm gonna be with two hands because like, I don't know what to do with all the fingers. But anyway, it feels so good. Holy crap, look at that. It's like the size of my hand. I mean, that makes sense. <gasps> oh, I can, oh, and it's so light. It's like, it's way lighter than the weights that they sent me to practice on. Like, what were they thinking with this? This is so heavy. This is so light. For a while I was like, well, I guess this is okay because this felt kind of heavy, but this is so much lighter than what they sent me to practice with. What the heck? Amazing. I just want to swoon about how gorgeous this is all day long, but I have important things to do, which include, I need to charge it because it's not charged up. And I think I have to like calibrate it a little bit like online. I'm not sure, but I was reading some quick instructions and it said something about calibration. So I'm gonna try all that and I'll I'll take you through with it. First, let's try it on to see if it even fits. Ooh, it turns. That's exciting. Pretty. What the heck? Why is this so cool? My arm is so long, it's so much longer. It's on, it's not on, but it's on. But it's on me. Now they said it was gonna be a bit longer than my, but I don't really think it is. It's only like half an inch longer. Not even, it's like a centimeter longer. And that's just to do with the length of my stump and the technology they needed to put in here. Um, but that's really close. It's really cool. <gasps> I wonder if I'll be able to do this. I don't know, I gotta plug this bad boy in. Why do I keep calling it a bad boy? I don't understand, I, I don't know. Uh, gosh, this is so weird and so cool. Ah! Okay, let's, let's plug it in. My arm is charging. I'll show you that. I'll film it right now for you so you can see it. There she is. Pulsing green to charge. It takes four to six hours to charge. Now, the impatient part of me wants to unplug them right now and just see what happens. But I don't know if that's a good idea. So I'm gonna just try to like use up some time while we're charging, see if I can get like at least 10 more minutes of charging in. So here are the other things that are in the box. My arm was assembled by Nick with a smiley face. Thanks Nick, it looks beautiful. Then there's this cool big banner which says, welcome to the Shulin family, hooray. Uh, learn. It says read the user manual. Excellent. We'll do that. Train. You go to my.unlimitedtomorrow.com to calibrate or train your device to your body muscles. So we're going to do that. I just found the website. So we're going to do that together too. Use. Try picking up a plastic bottle or a tennis ball. Oh my gosh. Yes. And share. Hashtag my tomorrow. Hooray. Um, well, I'm sharing tons anyway, so we're gonna share even more. Like this video, I'll do some shorts, it'll be great. And look at the neat, um, look at the neat, uh, what's this foam situation? It's kind of like, that's where the arm was. It was so padded. Like if you ever wanna ship precious breakable diamonds, diamonds aren't really breakable, but precious breakable things, this is what you do. You put it in this. Okay, and then the last thing, that came in here, oh, other than the charger, which I'm using to charge my arm right now, is this product manual. And I've already read it. It's a really easy read. I'm actually only on page page 11, which is the muscle training page. Oh my gosh. 
There's so many. So basically what you do is you go to my.unlimitedtomorrow.com slash calibration and then you sync up your limb via Bluetooth and they can like, you know, sense what your muscles are doing and so your limb calibrates and they get all the information and then you get to run through these like different colors Wait, let me read so I actually know what I'm talking about because right now I have no idea what I'm talking about. What do we do here? So green, white, and blue are different grips. So depending on what color they are, they're associated with different grip patterns. Pink means it's calibrating, so I'll be doing that. Red means it, the battery life is low, so charge it. Charge it, charge it now. Okay, grips overview. So I'm gonna show you on this hand what the different grips are. All right, we've got this grip, we've got I don't know what this is, but this looks like something. Then we have this grip. Maybe you can do this. Oh, I see, maybe it's like this. Okay, so this one, and then we have this one. Then we have this one. Then we have this one. And then we have this one. So front and side. Whoa! Then there's like a thumb situation. So you can have the thumb pointing in like this, so it can do this, and then you can have the thumb going out. And then there's like different instructions for what you do for each grip. And I have to learn them. I think it's like how you move your muscles on your stump. I don't know, it's exciting. Now I'm just gonna quickly tell you a little bit about limb care and hygiene. <laughs> Daily washing of the residual limb. I don't like that word, so I'm gonna insert stump for that word. And the, t the team has been Mostly really good about it. I'm just like, I like stump. And they're like, okay, we'll say stump. Sometimes they forget, but I remind them. Wash your stump. <laughs> okay. Dry it. Don't use oils or perfumes. That makes sense. Never wear a damp or a dirty socket or stump sock as this may lead to irritation. Yeah, that sounds good. There's more about that, but I don't think I need to worry about it. That part's boring. Let's get into the calibration. Okay, it's pulsing green. I just want to see if it turns on. Let's see if this puppy even... I mean, I only charged it for like 15 minutes. It's flashing purple. Oh, what is happening? Did you see that? Okay, okay, no nothing's happening. I have to calibrate it, but that was so cool. Uh, you'll now complete several tasks to teach your true limb to react to your muscles. You may use the navigator below to go back and forth between tasks to redo them as needed. Please click start and follow each, follow exactly what you see in, on the screen. Okay. Oh. Listen, I did not read that correction. God. I need to go back, I need to go back. Stop, 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 stop. Go back, go back. Okay, I need to read this before I press start. Redo sensor, yes, okay. So, okay, my advice, don't just start. Do you have to read this first? Because I have to squeeze my muscle, contract my muscle uh, for two seconds when the line is red. And, okay, so have to stand up. Oh, okay, here we go, let's do this. Okay, holding arm down by his side. Okay. Now it's downloading the data. I did that, I did that right. I did it right, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Good. So it says, Sensitiz sensitivity has been adjusted. Wonderful. Oh, I already did this one. Do I do it again? I'm so confused. With your arms straight out in front of you, squeeze and hold the muscle contraction for two seconds when the line is red. This is so cool! Apparently my true limb battery is at 60%. Somehow it was charged when it came here. I don't know how, but anyway, that's a funny, a fun fact. Okay, next. Okay, so with your arm straight up, squeeze and hold the muscle contraction for two seconds when the line is red. Okay, I can do that. The arm straight up! Okay, 
Okay, with your arms straight up, just relax your muscles and do nothing. No problem. Here we go. Hey. Start with your arms straight out in the front of you and imagine you are tracing the number eight on its side, okay? I'm tracing my eight in front of me. Whoa, whoa, this is so cool. This task will start in five minutes. So it's sitting on the table, and I guess this is this is where it just kind of uploads stuff to the Unlimited Tomorrow site, and then they can calibrate it. Or did that, did that was that the calibration? I don't even know, I don't even know! So I think my next step is trying some of the grips once the calibration is done. Yeah, that was the calibration, because now they'll like, it'll know how hard to move and stuff like that when I do the muscle movements, yeah. Then I can try moving it. Okay, update. My arm is still in calibrating mode. It's got a pink LED light happening. I don't know how long this will take. So, and my baby's coming home soon. Um, so we might need to postpone this either till later or another episode, but at least you got to see like the unboxing and some of the movements. It just, it feels so neat. And like, I love how it's very user focused, user driven. Like I got to calibrate it myself online. And I like, I know I need to meet with somebody from the Unlimited Tomorrow team to just go over everything and make sure it's calibrated properly and correctly for my body. But like, it could be good now. I don't know. The pink light isn't off yet. So, you know, once that's off, I can try it out and we'll see. But, um, holy smokes. Oh, it just got me thinking about all the cool things I want to try and do and how it can add value to my tasks and like, you know, make them different. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm, ex I'm so excited. I'm burping. Comment below. Tell me what you want me to do. I can't wait to try it all. And I can't wait to train my arm. I know it's going to be like weeks of kind of practicing and training, but uh, I can't wait to get into it. And yeah, I, I have a lot of emotions. I was feeling a, a lot more emotional about this whole process, you know, a few days ago, but today I just feel excited. I just feel like, yeah, this it's this is a tool and it's gonna be cool. Yeah, let's go to school. No, just kidding. Tool, it's gonna be cool. And that's all. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It'd be so great. Follow me on all the social medias as well. And uh, you can support me on Patreon if you want to. That'd be wonderful. And uh, yeah, a huge shout out and thank you to all of my patrons. You helped me do this work and I'm so, so grateful. All right, we will uh, see you next time on Stump Kitchen. Bye. A lightly moistened cloth and mild soap can be, mo you know what? No, but the, oh. just love my hand. Oh, it flaps. Flappy, flappy, flappy. Oh my god. Stump kitchen, stump kitchen, gluten free, vegan.